You have charge, you have charge. <laughs> Hi Sophie, welcome back to another Tuesday and a week, another video. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing okay and I'm also not doing okay. I don't know why I'm in like some super philosophical mood. I decided to vlog. I have a video going up at 7pm today. This video that you're watching right now. And I didn't know what to put up and I didn't want to put up a video and I had to chat with friends yesterday about it and I had to chat with Jamie about it. M multiple chats and I'm like losing my YouTube funk. Then today, I had a brainwave. <laughs> And I think I'm out of my funk. So I wanted to talk about the funk. Boop. Anyway, I have to leave in like 15 minutes because here in the UK, based on this roadmap, it's quite an arbitrary date, isn't it? But as of this Monday, we were able to see people as of yesterday. And so Jamie's parents have invited us over for dinner. And we were like, yeah, sure. We can come see in the garden and eat dinner. It's beautiful weather. We're allowed to do that outside. So I thought as I gave you this little brain fart, I would chat to you about why I feel like I'm in a box. Ah, oh, boxes. Firstly, I'm not filming my normal space because I don't have a mic connected to the setup yet. I very enjoy the process of moving, but at the same time, I very much don't enjoy the process of moving because everything just takes a while, you know? Should I put on lipstick today? No. <laughs> right. Let's get on with some makeup and let's talk about my child feels like she's in a box. As you may know, I embrace my brain farts. My brain farts are plentiful. They happen quite a lot and I made this channel, one as a creative outlet and two as a way to try and make the world a better place in my own little way. Like I wanted to try and make some sort of positive impact. In terms of creative outlet, I love the idea. I'm just gonna spray myself be before. One second, one second. <laughs> <laughs> Very weird to be doing that on camera. In terms of creative outlet, I love the idea of doing music stuff on here. I do music a lot. I do music. You know what I mean. But uh, I don't have the balls to put it up here yet. So that's not happening. All right? Not yet, anyway. Not properly. My second purpose, apart from having a creative outlet, for this channel was to try and make the world a better place and i figured the best way we could do that is by promoting something that we don't see on social media very much and that's authenticity right i gotta just be me i want to do that for me and i want to encourage other people to just be them because when we really boil it down that's all we want to do just be ourselves right that is the ultimate sense of freedom and it's a beautiful state and it's something that i'm still learning i don't think it's like something that many people would complete as a journey. I still keep falling back and getting enveloped by society and as technology keeps progressing and social media algorithms get more and more clever, we get sucked in more and more and that's okay. We've got to give ourselves space to learn and to grow. But that is what I wanted to do and I love vlogging and I will also continue to vlog, maybe not like in huge great detail. COVID has made it very difficult to do weekly vlogs because there's just nothing going on, but monthly vlogs, for example. But I still want my channel to be more than just a vlog, you know? Then I started doing these video essays. I'm not gonna lie, I like talking about these things with Jamie, with my loved ones, because it's a great exercise to learn and to grow, to have chats about topics like whether the progress flag is a good thing, whether university is overrated, and all the other little brain fart videos that we've had here, the Cadbury's cream egg advert. And I thoroughly enjoy doing them, and it seems that you, my lovely sweet peas, enjoy seeing them, which is great. I love the conversations that we have down in the comments section, but, but, the problem I have with that is it makes me feel down a little bit to only talk about these bad topics and just be critiquing all the time. So much has happened, that I can't cover on this channel. The women's movement, the stopping Asian hate movement, but I don't feel like I want to talk about those because they make me really sad. That's not to say that I won't talk about sad things on this channel, but I don't want to constantly talk about sad things and I don't want to feel like I have to voice my opinions on things that I feel really uncomfortable talking about just because it's a trending thing in the moment. You know, that's not how I want to grow. That's not how I want this community to be. Then what do I want this community to be? Good question. One thing that's stopping me from being able to answer that question is this thing that creators are very aware of. Viewers not so much, maybe you know it by name, the algorithm. And there's a problem with the algorithm on social media. I'm gonna try and explain it to you and it's gonna sound scientific and boring and it's all to do with this box, right? The problem is business. Social media runs as a business. The reason that you're watching these videos is because you like seeing people and insights into different people's lives. I do too, that's why I watch videos, right? But, but, that's not what the social media platforms want for you. I'm sorry they don't care if you're having a good time. What they care about is making the money, which makes sense. And to make money, they need to put ads on stuff. And to put ads on stuff, they need to know that you're gonna watch something. And so how does the algorithm know that you're gonna watch something? 
They know by showing you things that you've already watched and that you like. Right? It's a tested method. It is the reason that I watch all of the tasty videos that come up on my Facebook newsfeed all the damn time. They speak to me because I like looking at dumplings, okay? I like seeing how dumplings are made. I like seeing how ice cream is formed. I like seeing people create really aesthetically pleasing cakes. And Facebook knows this because they look at my data of when I <laughs> watch these videos in full when I should be doing my work. And they go, oh, Ooh, she liked that one let's serve her more and they serve me more and because I enjoy it, I watch more and guess what there's an ad on top of every single flipping one and it works and that is how they guarantee exposure and that boom bam <laughs> in a really 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 simplified form is the algorithm and whilst that sounds great right as a viewer it means you're gonna watch things that you want to watch as a creator it proves a bit of a problem and it's something that a lot of creators don't talk about probably not something I should be talking about but then why not why do I have to like put up this facade of the creator bubble. The point is it creates an environment where creators feel like they can't actually create. We can't explore the boundaries of what we want to create because it won't get to the audience. Do you see what I mean? I've been wanting to do music for the longest time on this channel and I haven't because doing so would mean that you wouldn't watch it. Maybe some of my lovely sweet peas would watch it and that's wonderful and you have such lovely things to say and I feel very happy about it. But there are some things that I don't want to put out because I know it's going to underperform, not because of you, but because it's not like my normal content. So if it's not like my normal content, it's not served to people because the algorithm doesn't know if you will like it because it's not what you usually like, because it's completely new for me. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And so when I'm already feeling low on my self-esteem, and when, I'm not gonna lie, size has a thing to do with it, right? This beautiful little community was so tiny, and I don't, I'm not a very good numbers person, Jamie will tell you that, I'm wonderful with words, but when it comes to numbers, I don't really pay attention to numbers very much. And I just looked today, and we are 87 thousand strong there are 87,000 subscribers on this channel and that's like a huge thing right like what a beautiful little community we've created of like-minded people where we're making friends we're chilling out live on twitch you know we're chatting we're having fun we're having meaningful discussions we're growing together i love that i really love that and i don't know why but there is a pressure i just feel like this huge sense of pressure because of the size I know what you're gonna say, 87,000 really isn't that big. Maybe not in comparison to other people. Sorry, I can't talk too much whilst doing this eye. I don't, it's just this eye, one second. But for me, that's huge. And by huge, what I mean is, I feel this sense of pressure to maintain and do good by this audience, right? Which is a lovely thing, but it does mean that you're then numbers focused. And if you're numbers focused, you have to play the algorithms game. And if I'm playing the algorithms game, I have to continue doing the content that you like seeing because it's the content that I'm already putting out there instead of exploring new content. And that bugs me because that's putting me in a box. I don't want to be in this box because sometimes it makes me feel sad and I just want to talk about other things. But social media is not created when you're a certain size to allow you to talk about other things. So what I'm saying is basically I'm struggling with my content. I don't know what you want to see on this channel. I want to work on a new set of videos called Lessons from a Brain Fart. <laughs> Lessons from a brain fart. So that's what you're gonna start seeing on this channel. I also want to put out some music and I'm nervous I say this. I'm saying it because I'm putting out into fruition, into the world, right? So hopefully it will manifest itself as being true. But I'm scared because it's not gonna do very well. And I know it won't, not because I don't believe in myself, but because that's how the internet works. And that's fine. I just need to gather up my balls and feel okay about it, which I don't, but I will get there. So I guess that's what I wanted to talk about. I'm feeling in a funk with my content. I wanted to put something up today because I don't like not uploading on a Tuesday. I love the feeling of putting up a video and connecting with this community. But at the same time, I didn't want to put up something crap or some commentary thing that my heart just wasn't in. Uh, I'm also just letting you know, I guess this is a bit of a PSA video, that my box of being a, what creator? What creator am I? Who am I? What am I? This is all coming from Twitch. On our last Twitch stream, I was having a think about wedding favours and I just had no idea who I am. <laughs> and how I want myself to be like represented in items. And they just led me spiraling to think about this channel and what that represented and whether I'm cornering myself in terms of my content. I'm digressing. My point is, I, I would love to know 
a bit more about who I am and I think I need to do some soul searching as to what that is but I think it's this I think this is what I am I think it's just bleh what is this this is brain farting right I think it's just brain farting just being unapologetically me and that might just mean rambling to a camera for a few minutes is that the kind of content you enjoy if so you'll be in for a treat if not maybe this place is not going to be for you anymore I don't know oh, it's the first time I've done makeup in a while I feel like I've drawn this eyebrow too high. Oh, maybe it's just because I was doing that because now this eyebrow looks too high. Oh dear, oh dear. To lipstick or not to lipstick? That is the question. There you go, that's what this video is. I don't want to be in a box. I feel like I'm putting myself in a box with my content. What do we think? Was lipstick the right choice? Mm. Feels a bit much, doesn't it? I just feel like it doesn't suit my face, you know? So look out, from here on out, hi Jamie, this content it's gonna change a little bit. I'm gonna do lessons from my brain fart. And there are two things that I would really love your help with. The first is one, understanding who I am. I'm an overthinker. It is my, I say my biggest flaw, it's one of my biggest flaws. I overthink everything, I over research everything. And I think I'm thinking too much about who I am. <laughs> so I just need an objective pair of eyes to be like, Shaba, this is what we know you for. This is what we like. This is what you do. And maybe if you wouldn't mind summarising that for me in the comments below, we can have a chat about that. Like, just be honest. I don't mind. I just want to explore my labels. I want to know what it is that I'm putting out in the world. And similarly, if you have any ideas for content that you think might be great, that you like to see, that you think you want to see, please let me know. And just bear in mind that this channel may not be growing because I am not going to be in the box. I, I can't be in the box it's just not me and I want to stay true to me that's it brain fart number one done love in the eyes though right oh it's been a while <laughs> right I'm gonna go to someone else's back garden and I tell you I never thought I'd be saying that sentence I never thought I'd be this excited to go and see someone in the garden but there you go I hope you guys are enjoying seeing your loved ones if you're in a position to do so please stay safe please follow the rules and please just make sure you still social distance we're still going to be bringing masks we're still going to be social distancing we're still going to be using hand sanitizer and that's it for me i'll see you next week hopefully with some kind of video god knows what be kind and have a great day brain fart complete thank you so much by the way for being here i know i mentioned the size and i didn't actually thank which is so stupid because this isn't me at all this is a joint effort for the community and i'm very grateful i have no idea why you are here i don't know what made you click the little subscribe button i'm very curious <laughs> but uh for whatever reason i really appreciate your presence so cheers yeah all right bye